Hello everyone. Petrol and diesel prices have been rising in India in the last few days in the wake of rebound in the international price markets. You would have noticed that the price of petrol and diesel has gone up every day since 7th of June 2020. The price hike is due to the increase in excise duty by the central government. Last month the excise duty was increased on petrol by rupees 10 and diesel by rupees 13 respectively. The rising cost of petrol and diesel in India is also provoking protests in many cities and some of the critics say that oil manufacturing companies are making huge profits from the struggling poor. In this video let's see why the prices of petrol and diesel have risen, what are the reasons for this rise and what are the possible repercussions because of this rise. The national as well as global economy has been going through a challenging time due to pandemic and that it had impacted the demand and supply of fuel across the world. India imports nearly 85% of crude oil from OPEC countries and retail fuel prices are benchmarked to international rates. Petrol and diesel prices have been rising sharply for the past few days, nearly 18 days in a row in India in the wake of a sharp rebound in international crude oil prices and weak rupee dollar exchange rate. In addition to this, government had raised excise duties on petrol and diesel on 6th of May. The reason petrol and diesel prices are rising is because the government revenue from other sources have plummeted due to coronavirus lockdown in recent months. The government raised excess duty on petrol by rupees 10 and on diesel by rupees 13 a litre on 6th May 2020 as crude oil prices came crashing down from $70 a barrel in January this year to below US dollars 20 per barrel by the end of April. The excess duty on branded petrol is Rs 44.16 a litre, while on branded diesel is Rs 34.19 a litre. Apart from excess duty, state, VAT and custom duties are also levied on petroleum products. What is happening is that the government is trying to increase tax revenue through petroleum products even as other sources of tax revenues, that is GST and direct taxes, see a drastic fall due to coronavirus lockdown. Central GST collection in April 2020 was a paltry Rs 6,000 crore compared to Rs 47,000 crore a year ago. Each and every rupee hike in excess duty is expected to yield Rs 13,000 crore annually to government with an overall additional revenue of Rs 1.5 lakh crores. The crude prices were very low when the government raised the excess duties and the petroleum companies were making some profit. The revenue generated from these duties as per government notification shall be used for infrastructure and other development it items of expenditure. However, with barely any economic activity due to the lockdown and hardly any demand for fuel, the impact of the hike was not passed on to consumers. That time as crude oil prices were at record low levels. Once the crude prices started rising and went beyond $34-$35 per barrel, the government had to raise the price of petroleum products. In the last few days, the petrol and diesel prices have been raised and now they have reached to the levels which are highest ever since fuel prices were deregulated in 2002. In theory, retail prices of petrol and diesel in India are linked to the global crude prices. There is supposed to be complete decontrol of consumer and fuel prices, which means that if crude prices fall, as has largely been the trend since February, the retail prices should come down too and vice versa and the benefit should go to the consumers. But this is not the case. When global prices go up, this is passed on to the consumer who has to bear the increase and when the reverse happens and prices go down, the government almost by default comes up with fresh taxes and levies to ensure that it takes in extra revenues as it has to reduce the physical deficit and reduce borrowings from outside. Instead of the consumer being benefited, the consumer is a clear loser along with the fuel retailing companies. Now please see the petrol and diesel prices in Delhi. The prices of diesel surpassed the prices of petrol for the first time. The price of diesel has traditionally been lower than that of petrol and continues to be lower in other parts of the country. 
The price gap has been reduced because the Delhi government increased VAT on diesel to 30% from 16.75% and that of petrol to 30% from 27%. Moreover, diesel also attracts an additional air ambience levy as well. While you can see that other states have also hiked levies on both the petrol and diesel, but most states have maintained lower tax rates on diesel so as to keep the prices of diesel lower than petrol despite a greater hike in the price of diesel over the past 18 days. Large part of fuel price, approximately two-thirds of the retail selling prices in India, constitute excise duty and VAT imposed by the government and by the states. Now, with lockdown restrictions lifted and economic activities picking up, the oil marketers are passing on the tax burden to the customers. If the rising trend continues, oil companies which absorbed a big increase in excise duty on petrol and diesel in early as, as in May would start making losses on sale of petrol and diesel. As a result, OMCs restarted the daily price revision of the petrol and diesel after an 82-day hiatus to match the petrol and diesel prices to international product prices and make up for the margins that are lost on account of the increase in exchange rates and steep increase in crude prices. So, some experts are of the view that an increase in fuel prices will increase transportation and logistic costs which will increase price of commodities and will have an inflationary impact. Several reports suggest that petrol and diesel prices may rise further if global crude oil prices strengthen further. The recent rise in global oil prices coupled with weak currency means India will have to spend more to procure oil. Therefore, oil companies in India have passed on the hike to customers and customers may have to shell out more if there is further improvement in the global oil market outlook. Thank you.